With Valorant's release just over the horizon, we here at Action Esports wanted to take the chance to look closely at the ways that Valorant sets itself apart from the competition. Today, we'll be examining an issue called Peeker's Advantage, which has plagued online FPS games for years. So you might be asking, what is Peeker's Advantage? Even if you don't know what it is, chances are that you've probably been subject to it or have done it yourself without even knowing. In a 1v1 in an FPS game, the player who peeks around a corner will have an advantage over someone who is stationary. This is a side effect of the delay inherent to online video games. When a player moves, data is sent to the server, and then the server sends that data to other players. However, due to latency or ping, the travel time from player to server to player is not instant, meaning that there will always be a few milliseconds of delay between what you do and what other players see. This manifests itself in a number of ways, one of which is Peeker's advantage. Here's an example of it. On the Peeker's screen, the enemy player is clearly visible, but on the other person's screen, the Peeker might not be visible at all. Because of ping or poor net code, peeking around a corner can allow you to see someone and shoot before the client even registers that you've rounded the corner. This leads to counterintuitive gameplay. One would expect that if you're holding an angle against an opponent who has to push in, then you should have the upper hand. And while it's true that you might have positional advantage, one quick peek is all it takes for an enemy player to get the drop on you. Due to Peeker's advantage, the attacking team might be able to get around the corner and kill you before their character even appears on the screen. Here's an example from streamer Get Flanked. Did anybody see him on my screen? Did anybody see him? As you can see, it's a little bit frustrating. This issue is in virtually every shooter on the market, from Rainbow Six to CSGO to Call of Duty. Unfortunately, no one has been able to figure out a good workaround to accommodate for player latency. Changing character hitboxes, increasing time to kill, or any other mechanical adjustments are just band-aids that don't get to the root of the issue. Latency. And that's all it is. Latency and pain. Anytime someone complains about right eye peeking in CSGO, that's not Peeker's advantage. Someone head glitching a box looking down a hallway? Not Peeker's advantage. A weird character model glitch that results in players leaning over before their camera moves? Again, not Peeker's advantage. Peeker's advantage is solely a connection issue, nothing else. Which brings us back to Valorant. Riot has decided to tackle issues like cheaters and netcode in a very direct way. Back in 2014, Riot created a task force called Riot Direct, that was in charge of producing the optimal League of Legends experience for players. Quoting Riot themselves, We started to look at the internet not as an inexhaustible resource, but as a limited system that had to be managed and scaled correctly. In an interview with PC Gamer, Riot explains the direction that Riot Direct took. By placing routers at major internet traffic hubs in 35 countries, and by making deals with internet carriers to connect their network to the wider internet, Riot was able to harness internet connection with fewer hops and dramatically lowered their ping. Riot Direct has been tested, implemented, and proven to work for League of Legends, so we should be able to expect that Valorant servers will be at the same level. On top of this, Valorant will be running on 128 tick servers. This means that the game will update 128 times per second, giving an incredibly precise reading of where players are and synchronizing what players see on their screens. To get a good idea of how Tick changes gameplay, check out this comparison between 128 Tick and 64 Tick servers. It may seem like a small difference, but when a few pixels are all that stand between winning a gunfight and losing it, every frame matters. Tick rate can also affect things like grenade spots in CSGO, and spots that work on 64 Tick servers might not work on 128 Tick servers, and vice versa. Their Tick rate's I think 128, to, or no, 100. 30 tick or something, which is cool. But they also have this tech that is supposed to counter Peeker's advantage. Every shooter kind of suffers from Peeker's advantage, right? Because of all the latency issues. They actually have like some sort of system that kind of counterbalances that. So you are in favor of, the defender is in favor instead of the attacker. So usually when you peek, you have the advantage, right? They have a system that kind of counters that. But a good connection is only one half of the equation. After all, high-speed servers are only put in place to facilitate fast-paced gameplay. In other words, Riot has to use their servers appropriately, 
Otherwise, all that work and infrastructure would go to waste. According to Valorant senior software engineer David Straley, in an interview with Polygon, he said, quote, We deem that less than 80 milliseconds is fair for peaking with our weapons and tuning. Not good, not great, but fair. Now, you might be thinking, there's no way to completely eliminate peaker's advantage. Even on 128 tick servers, there will be some latency. And you're right. Eliminating latency altogether is impossible. This is where game mechanics, server quality, and human reactions all come together. In a game like CSGO, where this can happen on 128 tick servers, peaker's advantage can only be mitigated, never fully eliminated. But in Valorant, or Overwatch, or any game where the margins are not so tight, just mitigating Peeker's advantage can be enough. Due to the fact that around 70% of players have 35 millisecond ping or better, combined with the 128 tick servers being implemented for Valorant, Riot claims to have gotten Peeker's advantage down to 60 milliseconds, which is well within the acceptable range of human perception and client recognition. It is important to note, however, that those without 128Hz monitors might not be able to see much of a difference and could potentially be at a disadvantage compared to those with higher refresh rates. So what does this mean for the future of shooting games? Riot Games seems to be setting the precedent. Low quality servers simply don't cut it anymore in competitive games. Riot Direct has laid the infrastructure in place and made a statement that AAA publishers should have no excuse for skimping out on server quality. Companies have been hounded for cutting corners and implementing less than optimal servers, often citing cost as the main reason, but if Valorant ends up fixing this age-old problem, they could be setting the gold standard for all video games to follow. But what do you think? Now that you know what it is, have you ever experienced or abused Peeker's advantage in your games? Let us know in the comments below.